blocking the doorway so that he couldn't go out and feed the birds. Ian's going out to feed the birds. That's starting to get himself some sun. We did yesterday have a crow in the back garden, which was quite cute to see. I was going to film it, but it kind of disappeared before we got the chance to. There's Ian. But yeah, it was like, it's the first time I've ever had a crow, I think, in the back garden, but it looked really like nervous and it was just like eating and looking around. And um, So I've just woke up. Um, I did have the night shift from hell. Um, I don't know if it's just me. I feel like maybe, maybe I bring out the worst in people. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's my face. I, don't, I just don't know. You guys love to tell me if I've got a face that triggers people. But um, yeah, we had a night where I was asked for baby Guinnesses again and I've tried making them. I, I can't make them for the life of me. Um, it was just me on, there was no one else. And they asked for baby Guinnesses and they'd had a bit to drink anyway to start with. Um, I told them I couldn't make them. And they were like, well, we were, they made them for us early. And I was like, yeah, but those people aren't here now and I'm the only one here and I can't make them and they're just like I don't understand why you can't make it why can't you make it it's just like I can't, I can't make them I don't know what to tell you I can't make them and um, they were telling me how bad I am at my job and how terrible I am and they're going to complain to management about me and it was just a big thing it was like it's obviously a storm in a teacup really compared to life in general but um, yeah it was just <laughs> a bit crappy um yeah there's a lot more to the story that i've got off my chest with Ian this morning <laughs> i told in the whole situation but that's the basic gist of it all um, <laughs> there's the movie um so we're gonna go to tesco now because we need to get some food don't we baby yeah, we got Aaron bought stuff for salad the other day, but he didn't buy like the protein for the salad. So. I guess that's just me being crap at everything as usual. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> let's go. Well, I don't know if you're going to be with us, but let's go to the uh, supermarket. Uh, hey there, Aaron. Hey. So we're back again at Liverpool, outside the other side of the Albert Dock which is near the m &S Bank Arena. We've not really ever ventured on this side before, have we? We just but can't keep away from Liverpool. Yeah, it's got a lot going for it. So we thought we'd come and check it out, and we may... Can you see it? <laughs> can over, you see it? Over there somewhere, yeah, there is a big wheel that we might have a go on. And if we do, we'll take you up with us, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry yeah, about that. Notice seen... that down here in this water and I've got like people doing some sort of activities in the water and it's like inflatable it looks it. fun but obviously it also looks very wet yeah so yeah we're just <laughs> like we said we're back in Liverpool there's lots to do we were at one stage thinking about maybe doing a river cruise but I don't know if we'll do that today I'll save that for another day but let's go and have a look around oh. so we're just over here there's the big wheel next to the thing and then there's an exhibition centre over there that we might end up going to another day because there's an indoor fun fair, isn't the kid? Is that in there? It's over that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then we just had to come and look at this. It's called Wild Shore. So it's got like trampolines and all these inflatable things and slides. It does look a lot of fun, especially on a warm day like this. What do you think, guys? Do you think this is something that we should do one day? It does look fun. To be it fair. does look fun, although obviously you'd want to do it on a day like today when it's nice and sunny. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Well, if it's raining, especially going to get wet anyway. Yeah, <laughs> as long as it's not freezing cold. But but yeah, we'll have to have a look in town, which is and that, and see whether we do it. But obviously, the sad thing is if we do it, we won't be able to film it because we'll be getting wet oh, ourselves. Yeah. Although I suppose I could film Aaron in his wetsuit for all you fans. So there's Aaron just doing a little looky-looky. Uh, 
there's a better view of the big wheel. As you can see, it's a beautiful day, but also we notice this rather stunning piece of metal artwork, which is quite pretty. It's got some birds flying off, and a couple of hands, and obviously it's also meant to represent music. It's got like a guitar and a keyboard there. It's, it's really stunning, especially in this. And there's a little bit. Flash it's a bit. The artist was Lauren Reuters. But yeah, it's real pretty. So here we are on the other side. Behind us there is the exhibition centre that fingers crossed we may go tomorrow, evening. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Do we know what it is? Did you say? I don't, I, I don't know. But yeah, you'll find out so I'll be in the time. Oh, well. you'll find out. Stay watching, guys, <laughs> but just looking out over the Mersey. And just saying out over there is where we went over to New Brighton. Well, it's a little bit away, but we had some lovely ice cream. That's where I sang very across the Mersey, so just over there somewhere. And then I think down that way is where New Brighton is where we. That's the last time. But yeah, it's quite. It's quite a nice view. Yeah, it's definitely not what. We did see a ferry along it early, didn't we, kid? But we wouldn't have thought we'd be able to miss it. <laughs> it must have. But yeah, you can do a, a river cruise along here for 50 minutes for a little bit. We're not sure if we'll do the big wheel today because it's. Was it twelve pound? Yeah, twelve pounds yeah. per person. And we have done big wheels, and we've, and we've also been at the St John's Tower, but unfortunately, we did not film that. We didn't film it. We will. There, it was good though. It, point, it wasn't a good experience. So yeah, we're just gonna walk back that way. And hopefully, and, we'll actually find some food this time. Yeah, we've seen fun. lots of places that looked interesting, though, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So if we have something to eat, we'll let you know. So. In this clip, we went to a place called What's Cooking on the Albert Docks, and the food was so good in there. But I couldn't leave the clip, it, well, I couldn't leave the sound on because of copyright. Here have we got here? What's your name? This is Einstein's little brother. He's just come back from having a walk with us because. He's we off to the vets this later on this morning. It is quite a warm day, so we've offered to pop him in our bath and give him a little shower. He's like, what? Does he go like showers? Oh, so we're gonna give you a little shower, aren't we now? And then take you back, and then you'll be able to dry off throughout the day and keep cool, won't you? Hey, we're so we did this whole thing where we were going to pop out to um, Formby and Crosby. We did. But then when we got to, just pop me down there, when we got to Crosby, no, Formby, it was a nice little town, village, whatever you'd call it. But it just, um, <laughs> I'm tired. Um, it just didn't have the place. We just struggled to find somewhere where we could eat because we didn't really want to just shove a cake in our mouths. We didn't. No, in the old days, we would just get a coffee and a cake, but we're trying to be more mindful. Yeah, so we thought we'd have like we'd share some sort of a like a wrap or something. Yeah, but then the pla only place that we that we liked the look of that we went to. Well, no, we liked the look of a few places, yeah. but the one we went to didn't have the wrap we wanted, so. And we went to a garden centre and they seem to just be serving really basic yeah. sandwiches and that we thought we might as well just come home and we wanted a ideal iced coffee and some yeah. kind of salad y wrappy protein thing. So we've come home now and we're gonna have a an iced coffee and hopefully okay. a salad. Hey there Aaron, what are you doing? Hey, I've just brought myself a Smart watch. Fitness tracker. 
um, because Ian was telling me how many calories that he'd burnt on his watch the other day. Yeah, because we did quite a lot of walking. And I thought, I want to know how many calories I'm, I'm not burning in a day. And so I had to, I've got the Fitbit Versa too, but Aaron saw this one. It did have good reviews on. As long as it does yeah. what's like the basics, I'm sure we'll be fine. But it's pairing at the moment and it's like frustratingly slow. Oh, it's telling me McDonald's is telling me I've earned it We did. Not get, that just into it, we did just get the this is the new what's it called? Is it Spanish punch? Spanish punch, I'm sure it is, yeah. But it tastes just a bit like strawberry and watermelon or something. It's okay, but it it looks really small when they get it in the glass. Aaron just made his own cordial when he got home just to keep it going use up the crushed ice so yeah he's got that we got some other bits of shopping Einstein's sending himself even though it's boiling and Aaron's going to try this L'Oreal Men Expert because one twist hair colour I don't know if you've noticed or not but I'm a little bit <laughs> a little bit grey at the moment and all of Aaron's other previous hair dyes grown out now so yeah so if I thought... let it go at it let's see what it's like see how it is it's because I'm absolutely vain so yeah if we remember we'll keep you up to date what Aaron thinks of his Amaz fit if watch. it ever actually pairs yeah it's just doing whatever it needs to do it's just doing this now and so what are you up to now Aaron so he's just updating to the latest the so, QR code uh, thing wouldn't work, so I've just paired it like um, manually, whatever yeah. it's called. And I was just shaking up my hair dye. Apparently, it's you shake it 15 times. If you have done, and then you just has to click off. Snap this thing off. You have to hold it high if you want people to see that, because he told me not to film too long. I don't want to get my boobies on camera. That's it, and then the other way. And then it should just lift off once it's yeah. And then if you have, then it says how if you hold it upside down and just very gently squeeze but I think you want to put your gloves on. What do you want me I to might, I want you to do it. <laughs> I want you to do it. Going to flip it to you. So yeah, I am going to be administering you might if I'm doing it, you might have to sit down on the step then. We're going to Ian's oh, going to sit outside in the garden if you want. Ian's going to take my. Might be too sunny if you want. Ian's going to take my boobs outside. Where do you want to be? Outside. We're sitting sitting here. Yeah? Is it here, or you can sit on one of those chairs outside in the garden? As long as it's not going to go everywhere. Gosh, this is really lighting up my face. <laughs> Whatever's going on here, yeah, that's where the reflecting off the floor. Are we, are we loving this light? It's looking great. So where it is weird that this one only takes ten minutes worth. The lady. Yeah, the ladies one doesn't seem to take that. It takes, no, it takes, it takes longer yeah, and it doesn't seem to work properly. So we'll just have to see how this one works out. Do you want any kitchen towel on you? Shoulders or anything? No, I don't think so. Hey, <laughs> so this is it on. What do you guys think? It's pretty dark really fast. It came out pretty intense. Uh, to start with. Yeah, it's just wiping the product off my back now because we've got it on my back. And, yeah, um, it, it, just because it had been a comb and Aaron's hair is quite short, it takes it just flicks and spray a bit. But yeah, it's gone. It is almost like you've just put, um, what's the word? Shoe polish. On. Shoe polish or hair dye on <laughs> Like you put uh, yeah, mascara or something on my yeah, it looks pretty intense. So hopefully it won't go this dark because then obviously it looks ridiculous if you've dyed it that dark. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't end up like, is it. I can't remember what his name is now. Is it Johnny Rotten? What's that person called out of. Um... Oh, do you remember that, that kids' program? Do you remember that kids' program when he was. Um... I was going to use that on the Oh yeah, let's not do that. Um, ah, I know you. Is it Lazy Town? Yeah, Lazy Town. Yeah, what Robbie was his? Rotten. Robbie Rotten, that's it. Someone called me Robbie Rotten once before. But I think it was just the eyebrows. Anyway. And his menacing laugh. Menacing, I mean, just being a nasty little bit. Any and so here we have the finished 
look it was really fast and it seems to have covered really well yeah look right outside him yeah okay. obviously I think it looks a bit dark I know but hopefully the more you watch it the more it will uh, there we go so so far I think it's got a thumbs up for you on to yeah it was really L'Oreal for you, now I think it would be really easy to use if you went didn't it there's Einstein but it is quite hot outside so I don't think we could stay out for long but we just thought it would give you the best overview of Aaron's new luscious locks hey so it's that time of year again when we go through our clothes and see what we can purge and give to the charity shops there's my trusty assistant Ian there you go, everyone. we've got our Starbucks, what are they called? Uh, it's a brown sugar oat shake and espresso. Does everyone like how Ian just hangs his clothes off my knobs? I know, but that's what I'll be wearing tomorrow, so it just makes sense to have it there. It's just, red. They're just hanging off the thing. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to go through our clothes now. And yeah, because we are overflowing with... Yeah, and obviously, once we've separated them, I suppose we'll just show them what we've... What we've so there is our pile of clothes to donate we've got a small pile of stuff that we don't think is good enough quality to keep so they'll be going into the bin yeah but that's you know, we, had a, we had a good yeah. old clear to didn't we yeah but i did get yeah fatigue you're getting to spawn the last <laughs> but so it is surprisingly tiny especially when it's really hot like it is today it is, yeah, it's so boiling hot. I ran out of my ice coffee. Oh, did you? Yeah. But I d do quite enjoy going through the clothes and sorting out what to get rid of and stuff. But um, We've still got what's on top of the wardrobe, really, but... Plus we've got the trousers at the top of the oh, wardrobe. Oh, yeah, it's just it? so many. I think I've done the trousers quite recently, though. But, yeah, um, so... But we will have to, at some point, do a... Like organising it, trying to keep put stuff in the right place. Yeah, like have all the shorts together and, and go through the shirts in there as well. Oh yeah, the shirts. So um, there is so many, so much stuff. And then there's but, the yeah. drawers in the other room. Obviously, we've the done, bed a, <laughs> done enough for now. I know <laughs> we will have to go through the bed one. Cause we will. We have so much bedding, but not that much that we tend to use. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> Hey guys! Uh, hey! So, we yeah. picked up a few little goodies from. Just nipped into Orm's skirt today, yeah. didn't we? This is our thrift haul, aka charity shop. Stop. Did something just happen? Huh. I thought something just happened at the top of the screen. But I think it's just probably shine off the watch or something. Right, okay. So. Or do we want to go with first? Well, should we get the exciting vinyl out of the way? Stop people, jump into the end and see what you know. <laughs> so, we've got a Pointer Sisters vinyl. And I've not already got that one. No. It was, there was like three versions of it, it in the other shop that we looked in. But it, there was no prices, but I thought that for a pound. a pound. It looks like it was originally two pounds. But there... See if there's anything on there that Ian knows. Um, to be fair, I don't think so... I know any of the songs on there. They're the ones that sang I'm so excited, aren't they? None of them I'm guessing from the title. Oh, Slow Hand, I know Slow Hand. But I'm not. And then we've got, this is one I'm quite excited about, the Whitney Houston one, because it's very hard to find that for a pound somewhere. So I was really happy right. to get that. You were, I, I wouldn't have necessarily guessed that was Whitney Houston because of having her hair so short. That's because you're not a Whitney Houston fan. He's got so Save No My Love For You. I know that one. How will I know I know that one? So you know the Great Southern Great Southern Southern. And then we've got a Dion Warwick one. I know, I was surprised I aren't getting Dion Warwick. I like Dion Warwick. Don't we see lots of Dion Warwick normally in the shops then? I, never, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. And that was a pound as well? A pound, yeah, you can't really knock that. For price, if you're into that kind of stuff. For the pricey. The price. <laughs> anyway, 
and an ace little bargains. Yeah, I got myself. This was a pack. <laughs> A Tog 24 jacket. I put it on for I use a special little treat just because all my other coats are a little bit oversized for me. It just fits nicely. Snug. It's no, just nicely. It's very tight. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. Got yeah, it does look pretty cool. For a fiver, you can't mount yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Probably a, a child's medium, but still. I used to wear children's t-shirts when I was in my late teens. <laughs> what else did we get? How oh. long was it this? A Hollister t-shirt. Then Freeze next club in session. Got a Hollister t-shirt. Get yourself a Hollister t-shirt. Looking pretty snazzy. Let me have that for three pounds, which is a bargain, I think, for a Hollister yeah, t-shirt. I think that's pretty cool. First ever Hollister product I've ever owned. I think it's the first Top 24 thing I've owned as well. Too. The last thing we got, it wasn't from a charity shop, it was from the market. market. Yeah, but um, we got these, they're like, you know, the the dupes of well, the things. ones if you like the smell of this then this smells a lot like but, but yeah we, we brought one and the smell was so good on it it lasted so long yeah but does that even have anything on the bottle the one that's last so long but you know what it would be oh it was something it does smell nice when i was just sprayed on him but how so, long the longevity of this one i think it was midnight flower it was called on the bottle but, but then i think it must be like a, a dupe of like yeah. um Whatever it's called, like orc, black orchid or something. Anyway, so yeah, we we got all of that came to less than twenty quid. Yeah. So I know that because I got twenty quid out there. So we had a pretty good time. Yeah, yeah see, we weren't there long. We did get to try the pumpkin cream cold brew. Yeah, which was it's good. probably the only time we probably would get it because I don't think I get it again. Yeah, but, but then we have to be sensible what we do get because you know. You know how it be. Anyway, so anyway. we're gonna give Einstein his goat's milk now and start making our tea. So speak to you later. <laughs>